I'm Kate Garland with the University of Maine Cooperative Extension here to talk about soil testing. Soil testing is an important tool to help you assess and understand a variety of soil characteristics. It's easy to do and appropriate for a variety of applications such as home vegetable gardens, orchards, lawns, ornamental beds, greenhouses, and commercial crops. When you send in a sample, the Maine Soil Testing Service provides a report outlining any necessary steps to make your soil more suitable for the crops that you're growing. I'll go over what a report looks like at the end of this video. Um, what's important here is to note the report that you get back is only as good as the sample that you send in. So here are some steps to take a good sample. You'll need a clean plastic bucket or clean plastic bag, a trowel or a spade, and a soil test kit, which includes a form and a box. Soil test kits can be picked up at your local extension office, requested online, or by calling the lab. You'll wanna choose a dry day to collect the sample. You're welcome to put a, the soil in a plastic baggie inside the box if you think it's a little damp. Insert your trowel straight down to the appropriate depth so that you sample equal amounts of soil at all depths. For most purposes, sample about eight inches deep. For lawns, four to three inches deep is great. And for tree crops, sample 12 inches deep. This is where the vast majority of plant roots are growing. Be sure to avoid digging at an angle. Collect several samples in a clean container. Avoid using metal buckets because metal buckets can throw off some micronutrient numbers. The number of subsamples you'll need depends on the size area that you're testing. For example, a dozen samples would be appropriate for a 20 foot by 50 foot garden. Cut the tops off any tightly held plant material. Roots are not a problem because they'll be sieved out before analysis. Once you have all your subsamples, mix them thoroughly and fill the buckets provided by the main soil testing service. If you don't have a box yet, you can simply take about two cups from that mixture to your local extension office or directly to the lab where you can pick up the boxes. Directions to the lab, which is located at the University of Maine campus, are given on the lab's website. Before assembling and filling the boxes, clearly write your name, address, and if applicable, farm name, field name, and sample number. Homeowners may want to choose to write down references such as front lawn, back lawn, east vegetable garden, etc. in the field name section of the box in order to keep track of multiple samples. Next, fill out the form with your contact information. Please print clearly. If you provide an email address, you'll receive an electronic copy of the report as well as a hard copy in the mail. The first column of the form asks you if you prefer a standard or comprehensive test. A standard soil test will provide you with information about pH and nutrient levels, the relative amount of organic matter, and whether lead is present. A standard soil test is typically most suitable for home landscapes. A comprehensive test, on the other hand, offers information about available nitrate. If you want to take a comprehensive test, you'll want to do this in May or June and be ready to follow the nitrogen applications immediately. The comprehensive test is more suitable for commercial growers of heavy nitrogen feeders such as corn. Next, you'll fill out the sample name, indicate whether you plan to grow potatoes in the area, and then you'll write in the crop code and pH management levels for the crop that you're growing. Um, most home vegetable gardens will fall under the crop code 391, which offers conventional fertilizer recommendations or 392 for organic recommendations. pH management levels are listed here and additional columns on the form are intended for commercial crops or greenhouse specific tests. Home gardeners can leave these columns blank. Costs for the out tests are outlined on the back of the form. Please buy pay by check or money order. Do not send cash. Once it's received at the lab, expect a, a report in about two weeks. Here's an example report. You'll see information about the presence of lead, a bar graph showing the pH, organic matter, and nutrient levels, and a section outlining what you may need to apply for soil amendments. Your local extension staff are happy to assist you with reviewing your soil report and calculating the recommended amendments for your site. Soil samples can be collected and sent to the main soil testing service at any time. 
test at the end of the season can be especially helpful because some amendments such as lime can take some time to react but don't let that stop you from taking a soil sample in the spring or summer months if that's when you're ready to dig in and learn whether you need to add anything to improve your soil. For more information, check out our bulletin, Know Your Soil, Testing Your Soil, the Maine Soil Testing Service website, or call UMaine Cooperative Extension.